Fury 800 of Full Bucket is a fantastic simulation of the Korok Poly 800. Great sounds and some interesting features, all packed in a free VSD plugin. So stay tuned and check out what this synth can do. First let me ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you subscribe we will keep you updated on all the great free software and tools we review every week. The download comes as a zip file for Windows or for Mac. In the zip there is a folder with several files like the release note, the license text, the PDF manual and two DLL files. The DLL file named Fury864.dll is for 64-bit computers and the other Fury800 DLL file can be used for 32-bit computers. So you have to pick one of these which fits your system. All you have to do is copy the right DLL file to your folder where you have your VST plugin stored so your DAW can find it. In our case we copy the 64-bit Windows version to C program files slash VST plugins on our Windows PC. Now we start our DAW which is Cubase Elements and drag the Fury 800 to our track window. For this synthesizer I really suggest you also read the manual because there are features that need to and are very well explained in the PDF manual. The original Korg Poly 800 was released around 1983 and was one of the first synthesizers without a load of buttons and sliders. There were just a handful of buttons and sliders to control every part of the synthesizer. So when you wanted to change something, like for instance the attack of the first envelope generator, you had to select parameter 51 and then click the value up or down with the buttons. On this digital version, the Fury 800, you can also work the same. You can select a parameter and change the value of it by clicking one of the value buttons, just like in the old times. But a great feature of this synth is that Fullbugger also made it possible to hover over the parameter board and see the value of the parameters as you click on it. You can drag with your mouse to change the value and as you can see the value also changes at the readout at the top. So you can work much faster to program a new sound. Like the real version, the preset memories is 8 banks of 8 presets. So the program number consists of the first number which is the bank and the second number for the sound in that bank. So it starts at 1 1 and ends at 8 8 which in totally brings you 64 presets in one bank. You can also simply use the up and down button to scroll through the presets. You can save the original bank on your computer and start editing the sounds to create new versions. That can all be done at the menu where you can save and load programs, banks, reload the configuration and what also is very handy you can show all parameters. This doesn't look very nice but it might be a handy settings when you are programming. The bottom part shows all the parameters and it's clear what it offers. Two digital oscillators with harmonics, a noise generator, a filter section, a chorus, two envelope generators for both the oscillators and an envelope generator for the filter and the noise. Next you see MG which stands for modulation generator but most of us know this as an LFO and the sequencer part. This sequencer can record 256 steps polyphonic. So you can record single notes in a step but also complete chords. Every of the 64 presets can hold a sequence. And if you change the last parameter which enables the sequencer to transpose, you can play a baseline sequence in one key like in C and during playback you can also change keys by pressing another key on your keyboard. Let's create a simple 16 step baseline in C. Now when we play back we can change the key by pressing another note on the keyboard. A nice extra is that if you disable the transpose of the sequencer you can play along with the sequence you recorded. At the right top you see some important buttons. First you can select the amount of voices, like the old setting of just 4 voices when you use 2 oscillators, or you can set it to 64 voices, but you can also set it to guard mode, which is a true polyphonic mode. 
the chorus can be set to pseudo stereo which reverts one of the channels to make it sound stereo. Also new is the velocity which was not in the original. And you can assign MIDI controllers to every feature here with the MIDI learn button. The last feature I want to show is the window size which you can find in the menu. Here you can change the size of the graphical interface. This might be handy if you are programming this great synthesizer. Well, that's all about explaining the Fury 800. Again, I really want to suggest do read the manual to find out how this all works. It's really worth it. Now let's hear some of the presets. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep you updated on all the great and free software we review. Let's play! Thank you.